Thank you, Margaret Scahir. I'd like to welcome the Minister and welcome the publication uh, of this bill. I think the, 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 this bill is an important bill, which is the potential to successfully combat the scourge uh, of burglaries. Burglary, as the courts uh, have described, is a serious act of aggression and attack on the personal rights uh, of the citizen. A burglary is a traumatic event for the person to endure, often uh, with repercussions and consequences uh, long term after the actual crime. Uh, as a society, we need to ask the question of communities, our political system, our education system, our economic system, the behaviour of people towards one another, uh, which are the factors in the persistence of burglaries, and uh, certainly there has been some horrific cases in the not-too-distant past. Uh, looking at the crime statistics over the last dozen years or so, for my own county of Galway, it is clear that the incidence of burglars fluctuated around the 1,000 mark per year. It is a similar picture for the western region, which for the purpose of compiling statistics uh, on crime compromi uh, comprises Galway, Mayo, Roscommon, Longford and Clare. Last month in Garden and Galway noted that the 2015 uh, rate of burglaries is down 7% on the 2014 rate. One burglary uh, is one too many, but unfortunately the issue uh, is, is being used to stoke fears, to, to fill column inches, to web pages, current affairs programmes. Burglaries are a serious problem which we must tackle, but the picture of complete lawlessness, as uh, Deputy Deering has said, um, that some are working hard to create is not uh, an accurate one. Crime has been tackled with a mix of resources and legislative changes. By the end of this year, for example, the government will have spent over 34 million uh, since, uh, since 2012 on guarded vehicles. In 2015 alone, the investment is bringing 640 vehicles, uh, uh, new guarded vehicles to, to communities across the country, with funding also provided for new specialised vehicles uh, to support the frontline guard the responding to crimes, including burglaries by high, highly mobile gangs. With the reopening of Templemore Garda Station uh, by Minister Fitzgerald, uh, the recruitment of 550 new Gardaí in 2014 and 600 more on the way, as, as highlighted in Budget uh, 20, 2016, is certainly welcome. And furthermore, the additional spending of our allocation of €5 million Euro has been allocated for the anti-crime and burglary plan, uh, codenamed Operation Tor. And this plan involves the use of high-powered vehicles by the regional armed response units, increased use of checkpoints and additional patrols with the particular aim of combating highly mobile uh, gangs who are using motorways and national roads uh, for burglaries and other elements in including crime awareness prevention and enhanced support uh, for victims. On top of this very welcome investment, however, are legislative changes which are a necessary component to tackle burglaries. Issues such as bail, the type and length of custodial sentences and legal aid are regularly raised by constituents. They are complex issues which require a thorough examination because of the competing rights of the different people uh, concerned. Legal aid, for example, is important for the fair and tra transparent administration of justice. That is not to say that there aren't abuses uh, of, the, of the system. Rather, it's recognition that the right to legal representation is a crucial one. I have to say, though, it does aggrieve many people that there are multiple and repeat offenders who get legal, free legal aid on every occasion. And whether there needs to be um, a system whereby uh, some monies can be taken from, from social welfare or whatever for those who are repeat, repeat, uh, um, repeatedly repeating uh, offences and before the courts on a, on a, on a repetitive basis. Uh, the issue uh, of bail is also raised regularly, but it's associated with the fundamental element of our criminal justice system, the presumption of innocence, and I welcome the publication of the general scheme of the new bail bill, which will consolidate uh, the law around uh, bail. Uh, it is clear, therefore, that changes to this area are being considered carefully and thoroughly. In this respect, I encourage that the Minister initiate a review of the criminal justice system's response to the problem of domestic burglaries, and this bill seeks to address the two problems identified. The first is the problem of repeat offenders. Gather statistics show that three quarters of burglaries are being committed by one quarter of burglars, and the same few are causing trauma for the householders affected uh, by this category of crime. Uh, section 1 of the Bill uh, will, will, will address this fact by ensuring previous uh, relevant offences are taken into account and that they will be refused in cases of repeat and serial offenders. And the second issue uh, the review uh, identified is the problem of relatively short custodial sentences and the running of sentences uh, con concurrently. As a result, and to act uh, as a greater deterrent, Section 2 of this Bill inserts a new section, uh, Section 54A, into the Criminal Justice uh, Theft and Fraud Offences Act 2001. Um, under defined conditions, persons committing burglary offences will be given cust uh, consecutive custodial sentences. And finally, um, obviously, home is the place where we feel um, should feel most safe and secure, and this ideal is, is, is held dearly and enshrined in our constitution. I'm confident that this bill, as well as the extra resources that I highlighted earlier, given to the Gardaí, um, will reinforce um, this ideal and support it by reducing the number of burglaries in Galway and other areas across Thank the country. And I'd like to welcome the publication. Thank you, Deputy.